guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Today, you guys, she caved. I have an unboxing, a true unboxing. I have not seen this. I'm very curious and excited and I have a little story time to go with it, so I cannot wait to see what is in this amazing, amazing box. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. I post videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. Okay, so true unboxing again. I have not seen her, so let's bust this puppy open together. I just before I show everyone and myself. Based on, based on my last wish list video, also my winter roundup video, do we have any guesses? Have you guys been keeping track of what was on my 2023 wish list? If so, this is on it. And it's one piece that I haven't ticked off my box yet that I've been very excited for. So without further ado, this little piece. Okay, last little, very predictable of me. This is from the eBay Authenticity Guarantee Program. I trust them even more now. I have a little story time, but let's get into the piece first. So, if you guys have been following me, you guys know, ooh, it's coming, it's happening. You guys know how much I have been looking at both new, old, actually not both, all three, new, old, and vintage Celine. So this is the dust bag. I have been truly for like a good year and a half, almost two years looking for a vintage Celine Trion. Then for a while, I kind of like put that idea out of my brain and I was like, all right, maybe I'll just get a new one. I got, if you guys haven't seen, my very, 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 very vintage <laughs> Celine Trion bag that's like from the 60s or the 50s. I love that bag. But it, I compromised on a lot of things. I think I just kind of wanted one to see how I liked it, but it wasn't really what I was looking for. This I'm hoping is more so. So take a guess, everybody. I'll let you know right now. The color, I didn't expect. Oh my God, and it's so pretty. Okay, so this, I think we love. Vintage Celine Triumph bag, AKA the vintage horse carriage bag. I think it's beautiful. This is gorgeous. There is, okay, so there is some scratching right here. I don't know if you guys, there we go. If you can see a little bit clearly just where the previous owner or owners were getting in and out of the bag. But honestly, it's hard to see from one angle. Like that, it looks pretty flawless. And like that, maybe you guys can see more in the light. The color is pretty gorgeous. Again, this is like truly my first time seeing this. So as you guys kind of knew in my winter roundup video, genuinely, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but for the last, again, year and a half-ish, even longer maybe, I've been looking at these kinds of bags and only considering black, but I was kind of over the black because I think a lot of people have it and also I really don't wear black bags. I wear black pretty much every single day. If not black, I'm in monochrome somehow. <laughs> and a black bag just blends in, it's just not as fun. So I was thinking burgundy and then I was thinking brown because all of my bags are brown and I never thought of blue. This is like a very deep, navy blue. It's gorgeous. I kind of for a while wanted my vintage Blue Marine Hermes Kelly bag to be like the color piece because you guys know I'm pretty much brown, randomly yellow and orange. 
are the only two kind of colors or tones that I throw in. And then I, ha I do really like a green bag. My JW Anderson bag is green. And I never thought of doing another blue bag. And for some reason I saw this one and I was like, maybe it's my pair to my little <laughs> vintage Kelly bag. I'm gonna grab that one so that you guys can see the comparison because I think they're gonna look really beyond beautiful together. Before I do that, let's get into some of the details. So again, this is the old Celine horse carriage. And what you do, it's like a book. You literally open it and let's go inside. Ooh, good. I'm very happy that the dust bag is here. This is, this is truly old, you guys. <laughs> Look at this dust bag. She's an oldie, but a goodie. This is so spacious, this is insane. Look at all of that room. And again, the front pocket, middle pocket, and back pocket, and a couple even more in there. A little Celine at the top is so cute. It's really crazy, like look at how much it accordions in and out. I'm gonna rip this bad boy off. This is gorgeous. I think I'm pretty obsessed. Only thing I was worried about with this bag is if it's actually gonna fit me crossbody, which I just tried and it goes very high. But in the event that I need it to be crossbody, maybe for safety reasons or just hands-free reasons, it actually is not too, too bad, but I'll probably end up wearing it on my shoulder for the most part. I am actually so happy with this. I feel like I was missing kind of a casual shoulder crossbody bag that actually fits a lot. My mini Bottega pouch, my The Row Twin 2 bags, and my Dries Van Noten Lizard bag. Those bags are so good for just popping out, popping around, but I need something <laughs> that's not gonna be like my Celine 16 or my Kelly level for just a more casual everyday, but it's also low-key kind of dressy. I don't know, she ticks a lot of boxes. What do you guys think of this color again? I have to look more, but I haven't seen a navy Celine horse carriage, and this is kind of making me really, really just appreciate Celine so much because my 16 bag, like truly, I think the most me bag I've ever bought. This is, feels very, like a little bit more if you know you know, <laughs> very vintage, which we love here, but also very low key, which I like a lot, and a little bit dressy, a little old lady, but in the best way. You guys, I'm now kind of obsessed. Okay, so this one I would say, my Celine, they're pretty close. It's pretty crazy, actually. My Blue Marine is a little bluer. This one's like nearly black, but I think that it's kind of fun to get into blue bags, especially color bags with me. Again, my first brown bag a couple years ago, I was like, just, you know, jumped right in the deep end. And I don't know if this is gonna be quite exact the same kind of crazy obsession, but I'm kind of loving it. Again, blue and black, very vintage Prada, very cool. I'm, I'm loving this vibe. My last kind of story time portion to say about this bag, I had been loving the eBay Authenticity Guarantee program. My Kelly is from there but I didn't quite understand how intensively dedicated they are. I've never, from the real real, from Vestier, gotten a phone call. I literally got a phone call from a representative <laughs> about this bag because she was like, hey, I just wanna let you know, it's a little bit more scratched than the photos show, maybe. So we're just gonna show you some additional photos. Sent me like, eight more images of the particular scratches that they were talking about. And honestly, I was like, thank you so much. They give me three days then to decide. And then the seller has like a 30 day, no questions asked return policy. And so I'm very, very happy. I am a huge fan of eBay authenticity guarantee, but this makes me love it even more on Vestier. I think once or twice I've had them get images and contact and say, hey, there are slight discrepancies. And then all they do is kind of 
give you a notification. They show you maybe one image and then you just decide, you press a button, but getting a phone call felt very luxurious and the person was so nice. So just saying, I highly, highly recommend in case you guys are looking. Actually an American seller, so it came super quickly. She was so nice. She gave me a whole lot of info and I just honestly could not be happier with the process. I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Should I now consider <laughs> a new Triumph or is this gonna be just perfectly ticking kind of all of my boxes? I can't wait for my bag collection in six months from now because I feel like it's already changed quite a bit. As always, I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.